What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about ganking in Vainglory. Now first things first, let's define what a gank is. A gank is when a teammate of yours or yourself comes up to try and kill the enemy laner through either hiding in a bush or using extreme speed to catch up with them in lane and assassinate them. Now basically a gank is an assassination. If you go for a prolonged gank, it's no longer a gank and it's most likely either going to turn into a team fight or a 1v1 duel, which are quite different and have a lot of different um, tactics that you're going to be using when you're doing those sort of fights. Now moving on to what a gank should be is it should be your jungler usually coming up through the bottom bush of the lane and going to attack the enemy laner. Now the reason you're attacking the enemy laner is because they're low HP but high damage and when you kill an enemy sniper, which is usually what their laner is going to be, you're going to be really dealing a blow to the enemy's damage in team fights. not to mention denying the enemy laner farm for quite a few for quite a long amount of time, meaning that they will uh, most likely fall behind your laner and be less effective later on in the game. So let's talk about exactly how you want to initiate a gank. First things first, come up through the bottom bush or you can sit in the top bush if you get there without being seen. But the main point is that you don't want to be seen when you're going for a gank. If the enemy laner has some sort of knowledge that you're about to be coming, then you're very unlikely to have a successful gank. And in some cases, you will actually get counter ganked and killed because you will go in way too deep and be killed by the enemy jungler that's going to come up to help their laner. Now once you are in position, you're going to want to go in with your stun or knockback ability. The best gankers in the game at the moment are Taka, Kashka, and Glaive. The reason for this is that Glaive can actually punt a laner back towards his teammates and Kashka uh, basically just has a really, really long stun. And then obviously Taka has really good damage output, which is something that I'll talk about later when it comes to ganking. So now that you've had your stun or some sort of uh, knockback ability dealt towards an enemy, you're going to want to throw every little piece of damage you have at that enemy laner. You want to take them out as quick as possible for a couple reasons. A, if they get back to their turret, things get a little bit hairy and you might have to end up turret diving, but we're not going to cover turret diving in this video because it's a lot more complex and in many ways a completely different subject. But moving on here, if you do do enough damage, you should take out the enemy laner before the enemy jungler can come up because if the enemy jungler gets up there, then you are very likely to be counter ganked. And since you've already taken quite a bit of damage from the enemy carry, that means it's going to be very unlikely that you will get out of that counter gank and survive. Now, a couple things that you want to think about when ganking are where the enemy laner is, where you are, where your laner is, and how much speed and damage you and your laner do. So the first thing about this is where the enemy laner is. This is pretty simple. It's basically if they're pushed up towards your turret, that's going to be much easier to gank than if they're sitting under their turret. And the reason for that is that they have much, much longer to go before they can get under the protection of their own turret. As far as your laner goes, pinging is a very good thing when you're ganking because it's going to allow your, la your laner to understand that you are going to try and attack the enemy laner and it's going to allow them to get in a better position so that you don't end up uh, killing yourself with your own laner not really doing anything. And then finally, damage and speed. First things first, you want to know that you have enough speed to keep up with the enemy laner because if they can burst their way out of there and run like hell, then they're most likely not going to be killed and you're going to end up wasting a lot of energy and a lot of damage that you otherwise could have been, put in, been putting into the jungle, which would have been getting you gold and experience for later on in the game. And finally, damage output. If you don't have enough damage output to kill an enemy, you should not be ganking because all you're going to be doing is taking them slightly low, they're going to regen, and you're going to walk away having wasted a bunch of time and losing a bunch of experience in gold compared to your enemy junglers. So I hope these tips helped you guys. I know that they aren't completely in depth, but I do believe that they should help just sort of give you guys a basis of what a gank is and how you should be doing it. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. I answer all of my comments and I'm very happy to help if you have any issues. Now, I am Commander Alex and I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and become a lieutenant today. I'll talk to you guys next time.